Oberlin Station. Where is, um... Oh, okay. Okay. Let's run over here and take a look. Holy cow. Most Meyer Lurks are heavily armored and resistant to most forms of damage, but their faces are vulnerable. Gross, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool looking. It looked real. Got a strange message from oh. a robot. Said it was from some place called Grey Garden. I couldn't figure out exactly what it wanted, but well, may as well check it out. You never know. Okay. Well, you're just gonna keep giving me stuff to do. Started Trouble Waters. Travel to Grey Garden. Well, let's look at that one. Travel to Grey Garden. That's it. Okay, there's no text for that one. That's weird. Troubled Waters. Where is Grey Garden? Grey Garden. No, this is Green Top Nursery. Um, let's see, what's new on my map? Actually, if I go back over here and I make that my selected quest, it tells me. See right here, it's telling me. Nope, it's down here. It's down here. Okay. Okay, Grey Garden isn't too far away. It's a lot closer than Oberlin Station. I might actually be more inclined to go from here to here than to go from here to here. Because we have to go here anyway to cross. But we're here in Ten Pines Bluff right now, and the reason I'm here is because if we bring up our workshop. Oh, they actually have three beds, but they have no defense. They probably would like some defense. Um, and really, all we need to do for defense is to put up a guard post. And I think they'll be happy. <clears throat> um, so, let's, um, let's put up a guard tower. And we'll put it uh, right here on top of this hill. Okay. Alright, and now I need to assign somebody to it. It's going to be you. Got it. Okay. Now he's assigned to that. And now they're happy. Everybody's happy. Everything's in the green. Cool. Alright, well that was easy. Their happiness is 50. That's pretty good. What do you get your gun out for? What's going on? Let's trade some things. Oh, okay. Sure. No, I really don't want to trade anything. Ah. Tab to exit that one, not escape. Make sure you press the right button. Okay, I wonder where their beds are. You have to spend caps on new shoes? Oh, okay, there's a couple mattresses there. That's what they sleep on. Hey, whatever makes you guys happy. Yeah, sure, what's up? Oh, man. Oh, man, I missed it. What's going on? What is it? What is it? When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. Uh -huh. You've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Uh, well, thanks. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. Yeah. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. Hmm. Okay. If things were so great back then, how did it all fall apart so fast? I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. And why are you telling me this? Well, why are you telling me all of this? I guess I'm just trying to say thank you, if that makes any sense. Thank you for being different than most everyone else I've run across. Anyway, 
I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Got anything else? Anything else? No. That was it. We'd probably better get back to it. Okay. Well, uh, nice talking to you. Man, that guy's got a heart on for the Minutemen, don't he? Jeez. Man, what is that bright light over there? Look at that. You see that? What is that? Why is there power over there? I am intrigued by this bright beacon on the horizon. I want to go right to it. <laughs> See what it is. Huh. Let's look at our uh, map. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, we're looking straight south. I, I mean, could we be looking all the way over to Diamond City? I don't know, that's pretty stinking far. I'd be surprised, but I guess it's possible. Let me get up here and see if I get a little bit of a better look. Yeah, it's hard to say. I don't have any kind of, Look at him. I don't have any kind of binoculars. Whoa, what was that? Why did my cursor change to a square? Do you see that? Why did it do that? It did it over here for just a split second. I don't know. Maybe it was... Um, just a delayed reaction from him, maybe? It could have been. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I wanted to look in my inventory at my weapons. At some point we had picked up uh, a sniper rifle. I want to try this sniper rifle out. Okay, so we've got... Um, it's a building. It looks like there's smoke coming off of it. That is interesting to me that it's all lit up. <laughs> that is very interesting. Look, what's going on up there? This is really neat. Oh man, I want to walk to these places and check them out. I totally want to do that. What else can we see? Any other lights? There's like a light. That is a lighthouse over there. It's not like a lighthouse. It is a lighthouse. What else we got? Anything else to see? Not a whole lot going on to the north. But then again, that's kind of like the edge of the game world, so... We're not going to see anything there, I guess. That is neat! Oh, man! <laughs> huh, I don't... What I need to do is... Um, I need to... He's got his weapon out, too. I need to spend some time with weapons. Uh, because when we were just in... Um, Oh, there's something down there. When we were just in uh, that uh, stockpile place and we were fighting all those raiders and I ran out of ammo for that one gun I had, uh, I was left using a weapon that I didn't really care too much for. Um, so I'd kind of like to, I mean, since I'm carrying around all this crap anyway, I might as well have a couple different weapons for different uses. Like, I'm glad I have this sniper rifle now. I don't know how good it is. Um, let me see here. What does it what does it say? Damage of 13. It uses 38 bullets. And holy cow, we've got a lot of those. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if these these are good values or not. I don't really have anything to compare them to. Uh, for example, I've been using this, and the damage is 22, and the damage of this is 13. So the damage wise, this thing kind of sucks. Um, this fire rate is 46. This fire rate is 55. Huh. This has a range of 119. This is a range of 203. Accuracy 65 versus accuracy of 90. Okay. So I'm going to use this as my sniper rifle. And um, I uh, need to go to a, uh, like a weapons workbench and uh, see if I can't upgrade it a bit. This is just a workshop. Um, okay, let me, uh, let me see, let me bring up my map here. So I made sure they have beds. And I know these guys have beds. And there's a lot of beds here at Sunshine Tidings. So I think we're good that way. Just need to make sure that my peeps are happy. I'm pretty sure he has everything he needs. I don't know why his happiness is only 25. Maybe we should travel over here and take a look. See if we could uh, figure out why they're uh, so unhappy. 
And we just picked up a Stealth Boy recently. The Stealth Boy is a personal device that generates a modulating refraction field. Using it effectively renders the wearer invisible for a short period of time. Well, that's kind of cool. I like that idea. Okay. Hey, Preston, what's up? All right, let's see if we can figure out why these people are unhappy. What's up, dude? I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. No, I really wanted to talk to you, but uh, that's okay. Here's another guy. Oh, he has a lady friend. <clears throat> hey, huh? I just wanted to introduce myself. Okay. I heard your radio that. beacon, so I figured, why not? Yeah, why it's not? It's not exactly paradise, but what is, right? Yeah. With some hard work, I think this could be a decent place to live. Yeah. Any place you want me to pitch in? Well, um, yeah. Well, actually, I don't think I have anything for her to do right now. Did Just... you need anything? Well, to be honest, we're hmm. a bit short of food. Anything you could do would be appreciated. Okay. So they need some food. Let's take a look here. Oh, they have no food? I thought I planted food over here. I really thought I planted some food over here. I know I did. Yeah. Oh, I haven't assigned anybody to work on it. Well, in that case, let's uh, go over here to her and tell her to work on the food. Hey, you. Go over here and work on this food. I mean, it's kind of sad that you couldn't figure it out on your own, but... Sure. There you go. And since there's two people here, I guess we're going to need more food, so... Let's go ahead and um, give them some, uh, some gourds, too. Just plop those down right here. And I guess she automatically just works on it. And I guess it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and plop something else down here. Why not? We've got the seeds for it, so let's just go ahead and put some uh, melons here. Okay. So, huh. I thought that... There we go. Yeah, she'll, she'll be the gardener. And there's some water over here. So I gave him some water. Got the radio beacon up there. Hopefully bring in more people. There's seven beds here, so plenty of place for everybody to sleep. That's not a problem. And I don't even feel like I need to build any bases here. Because, uh... There's so many little huts. Might as well scrap that. Can't scrap the silo, which is too bad, because that would be a lot of, um... That'd be a lot of steel right there, right? Yeah, get this tree out of the way. Wasn't this peaceful, nice music here? What a beautiful place. So peaceful. Okay, I can't go outside of that haze there. This is like the boundary of our workshop. We got another outhouse here. I won't recycle your toilet. I'll leave it there. Yeah, I'll leave that there. Huh. These trees, I guess, add something. A cooler. Maybe a little bit of steel. Cooking station. Eh, nobody's going to be getting any mail. Let's go ahead and scrap this stuff. Get a little bit of... I'm going to leave the kitchen table for them to set stuff on. Too bad I can't scrap dead bodies. I mean, is that thing just going to lay there forever? Am I supposed to do something with it? I mean, this thing, just going to, like, lay here? I wonder, I wonder if there is something I could do with it. Yeah, I mean, we got another one here. We need to find copper still. I don't know what's what has copper in it. Preston does not want to be left out. He does not. All right. Ooh, there's cars down here. Let's go scrap these cars. Oh, you know what? We probably can't scrap these because they're outside of the boundary. That kind of yeah, that makes sense. And it's not like I could pick it up and bring it back over here either. So. So much for that idea. I got real excited there for a moment. I was like, wow, free metal. But no, no such luck. All right. Our map. 
We could head in this direction down to Grey Garden. We could fast travel here, start walking in this direction. I suppose. It's kind of scary. The hideously mutated two-headed rad stag is a pathetic creature that will likely run at the first sign of contact. But if forced to fight and can prove a deadly opponent. Check that thing out. These are really neat. I like these. Okay. So is this considered a base for us now? No, it is not. Even though it's cleared, it's not a it's not a base. So this is the direction we want to go in. And I'm just going to head off in this direction. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's... Okay. And uh, I got a little bit of ammo for this thing. Come on, Preston. I think I might need your help walking through the countryside like this. Oh, are you friendly? Are you friend or are you foe? Bethany. Oh, no. She's probably friendly, right? She has a name. Let's put her weapon away. Walk up to Bethany here. Hi, Bethany. How are you? Hello. What's with the rads? I can patch you up if you need it. Oh, okay. Fee, of course. Oh, she's already a ghoul. Hear anything? Any news out there, doctor? Nothing that would interest you. Now, let's talk about you and your health. Uh, well, I'm fine, I guess. Well, what, what if I said cure me? Yeah. What would you... See what's wrong with me, doctor. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Oh. Uh, well, no, I think I'm fine. Actually, it's nothing. Very well, then. So is she radioactive? Is that what it is? Or just this area? Maybe this water over here? Yeah, that's it. It's that, it's that water. That's what's radioactive. Gosh, it's still plus two rads. What the hell? Okay, let's leave this place. This is bad. Thanks for nothing, Bethany. That's quite a racket you've got there. You cure people, but you're in a place that harms them. What is this place? This is not where we're going. But this place... Whew, this place looks scary. Look at this. Uh, yeah, nothing on my map. It's, uh... Arcjet Systems. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Pretty cool. I have a feeling this place is probably going to be inhabited and probably not by friendlies just just a feeling I have I wonder how far I could drop down okay that's fine ooh what's in here better get my weapon out pack of cigarettes individual cigarettes Burnt Trade Magazine. Battered Clipboard has, um, copper in it? No. Makes me wonder what else I'm tracking. Cleaner. Elevator. The power is out. Quite a collection of junk. Quite a collection of junk, huh? Bunsen burner. Haven't seen one of those. Tube flange? I don't know. I'll take it just simply because I've never seen one before. So, ooh, yeah. Stim packs. Two of them. Nice. Why did I just pick up a shovel? What the hell's wrong with me? Okay. Well, we need power before we could use that elevator. And I'm not sure where power comes from. I don't know where the entrance to this building is. Huh. 
It's a neat looking building. Hmm. Got a little trailer here. Oh, okay. There's like a model jet or something over there. <clears throat> Cooler with Nuka Cherry and Radroach meat. It's all mine. Huh. Alright. Well, it is time for me to take a break. So I will break it here. When we come back, we'll see if we can't get into Arc Jet Systems just for the heck of it. I mean, we're here. Why not, right? <laughs> Famous last words. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you please let me know by hitting that like button. Uh, thanks for all the comments. Whoa, here comes some big guys. Let's walk over here out of the way. Come on, Preston. Let's get out of the way. I don't want to fight them right now. Oh, crap. Preston. Preston. Disengage. <laughs> yeah, I'm running away, Preston. You do what you want to do. I'm running away. Anyway, thanks for the comments you've been leaving. I appreciate it. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to say, please leave it in the comments below. No spoilers, as always. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you join me again in the next episode.